So I recently sold a property here in Mid Peninsula to defer the capital gain taxes obligation. I did what we call a 1031 exchange. Basically what that is, is you exchange a investment property into another investment property or a multiple of investment properties. And that's exactly what I did. So today I'm gonna to show you how I more than triple my rental income by doing the 1031 exchange. So let's talk about what is a 1031 exchange. 1031 exchange is basically IRS tax code that allow property owners to defer their capital gain tax obligation to a later time by using the entire proceed of their relinquished property into the purchase of their replacement property. So usually 1031 exchange could be from a single family home to a multi-family units or single family home to other type of rental properties. That is widely used among the real estate investor communities to get more value added properties through this method called 1031 exchange. So I have another video right here that where I go into the nitty gritty of what the 1031 exchange is. So make sure if you want to know more specifically about how that works, watch this video right here. So let's talk about what in the eye of the 1031 exchange, a relinquished property. So this property I own for 10 years. It's in Redwood City, it's a single family home. I live in it for you know the first seven years and then I moved out. Ever since then, I rented it out to PhD students from Stanford to him and his family, they were paying $4,500 for a three bedroom, two bath, single family home. So when they gave me a notice to move last summer, I feel like that was the perfect timing for me in terms of wanting to leverage this asset into other properties through a 1031 exchange. So I decided to sell that property in Redwood City. It gave me a net profit of around a million dollars, which was a lot of money. It's a good amount of money, but a lot of gain also translates to a lot of capital gain taxes. So I did not want to pay the capital gain taxes. I decided to exchange that into two other multi-unit properties, one in Hayward and one in San Jose. The reason I decided to do that is because I also wanted to not rely on my full-time job as a real estate agent. I wanted to create income streams where it's steady and it's predictable and it does take time to manage, but it's not a full-time job. So what we call a passive income stream, is not completely passive, but it creates stability in this other income streams when my main income stream could be dialed back. So let's talk about the numbers. So this relinquished property that I sold was generating $4,500 a month. I used the proceed to purchase two separate properties, one in Hayward, which I later converted into two separate rental units. So that is generating $6,100 in gross income for me. And then the other replacement property that I got into actually with a partner is this San Jose property that is actually functionally a triplex. So three separate rental units. So that three separate, among the three separate rental units is generating about $10,000 a month. So I effectively through the 1031 exchange, I not only defer my capital gain tax obligation, I actually effectively went from generating $4,500 in gross rental income to nearly $16,000 a month in rental income a month. And we're talking about gross income. So if you look at the math, that's more than triple the rental income. So if you want to see the numbers on the, and the rates of return, the cash on cash return, I could get into it. Just comment below. Let me know that's what you want to hear. So I will produce those videos for future. So to sum up, right now we're in year 2023. We know there's a lot of negative news in the marketplace, but I'm actively buying real estate in this market. Again, whenever there's fear in the marketplace, there's uncertainty, there are also opportunities and opportunities are out there. If you are looking to also find similar type of investment property, please give me a call. I would love to talk now to you. Now you know more about uh, 1031 exchanges. If you want to know how I modernize and convert one of my properties into short-term rental, check out this video right here.